For easy assembly, I designed the simple circuit diagram, which uses multi-vibrator IC to generate frequency. Also here you can adjust the frequency using this potentiometer. And output through this resistors to the MOSFETs to drive the transformer. Then I converted schematics into the PCB layout. And the PCB is going to be look like this. You can download both circuit diagram and PCB files, link is in video description. In order to manufacture this PCB, go to the video description, and with this link sign up on JLC PCB website. On the homepage of JLC PCB website, here you can add the Gerber file I provided. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and the color of PCBs as per your requirements. And then save to cart for checkout. Within some days I got my order from JLC PCB delivered. And the quality of the PCBs is amazing, and 5 pieces is for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So, let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Now take the MOSFETs that was mounted on heatsink and use the double sided foam tape for spacing between PCB and heatsink. Take the PCB and align with MOSFETs. And then solder all the MOSFET spins. Now use the CD4047IC and install it in IC base. Also you need a 12012 transformer up to 3 to 5 amperes. Now connect all the wires in its terminal connectors. You can use 12 volt battery for operation. Also use a multimeter to track the output of transformer. Using screwdriver you can adjust this potentiometer to adjust the output. Now use a bulb holder or socket and connect on output of transformer to connect the load. I used this 100 watt incandescent bulb as load to test the circuit. Connect the circuit with battery. As you can see, the bulb is working bright without any flickering. Also multiple LED bulbs can be used, and it will work efficiently. This circuit can be very useful in non-unductive small appliances, and also in lighting purposes. If you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.